بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله Never forget to remember Allah Azza wa Jal as much as possible. And that's easy to make dhikr Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you're driving, when you're walking to the market, when you're leaving the market, when before going into the restroom, after leaving the restroom. Make istighfar. Make remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mention his name often because when you are in trouble, then that will be the first thing to come in mind is to remember Allah. When you're on your deathbed, then that will be the first time if that is your habit. So we'll try to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Fi kitabih al-kareem Wali dhikrullahi akbar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and remembering or praising of Allah uh, is is the greatest. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says Fi kitabih al-kareem Fi thkurni yathkurkum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and remember me and I will remember you. So if you want to be mentioned in the gathering of the angels by the Lord Rabbil Alameen, then remember him. Remember him in gatherings. Bismillah. Start your gathering. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. End your gathering. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ila ila anta staghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Try your best to have the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your tongue. And one of the great remember, uh, ways to uh, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an. And this is very easy as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. And as we know from practice. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كلمتان خفيفتان على اللسان ثقيل ثقيلتان في الميزان حبيبتان إلى الرحمن سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم متفق عليه إن الحديث أوز بخاري مسلم the hadith of Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are two statements that are light for the tongue to remember, heavy in the scales, and are dear to the most merciful. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi subhanallahi al-azim. Glory be to Allah. And all praise belongs to Allah, the greatest, who is free from all imperfections. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. Ahabit Fillah, this shows us how easy it is and how great the reward it is just to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongue. And it also is evidence to show us that Iman, of course, is in our hearts, but also on our tongues. So also, and of course, Iman is also physical. The Prophet wasallam let us know that just removing a harm from the road is uh, from Iman. This is one of the forms of Iman. The Prophet wasallam also mentioned when talking, speaking about the benefits of commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And may Allah bless us to be of those who command the good and forbid the evil, not of those who command the evil and forbid the good. The Prophet sallallahu said in the hadith of uh, Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal Sama'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Man ra'a minkum munkarin fil yughayruhu bi yad fi in lam yastati' fi bi lisanihi fi in lam yastati' fi bi qalbihi wa dhalika adaf al-iman ruwahu muslim in this hadith in Sahih Muslim the hadith of Abi Huraira uh, the hadith of uh, Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Whoever sees an evil from amongst you, then change it with his hand. And if he is unable to do so, change it with his tongue. And if it is he is unable to do so, then change it with his heart. This is the weakest form of faith. Letting us know that actions, the belief in the heart, of course, and spirit. Uh, speech on the tongue is all from Iman. So you can command the good and forbid the evil with all of the, your, your body parts, so to speak. So this is from Iman. And this is the Aqidah and the Creed of Ahl Sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam.